Kelly. And we are talking about the murder of 19 year old Shade Robinson. And I'm going to continue to say her name because what we're not going to do is give. You know what? Do we have a beep button? Because I know I can't curse. Can we can we do the beep at least today? Can I, I get a pass? I, I don't know. Uh, man, do we have a beep uh, button? Because, <laughs> man. We don't got no beep button. Um, 19-year-old, beautiful, beautiful young black woman who was attending the Milwaukee Area Technical College and had hopes and dreams to pursue a career in criminal justice and she's gone and it, it cannot be well who are we going to blame we should all as a community hold ourselves in some degree accountable for this because number one we're we going to have to be very very vocal about how many other young black girls did this monster murder. And I want to remind us as a community truth nation, this is not just a Milwaukee thing. And when I say thing, I'm talking about missing black kids. Remember Miss Dee Dee and Miss Deborah called in last week when we were talking initially about Sade and the, the emotion, the disgust, the hurt, the pain that we live in a society the United States of America, where there are so many missing young black kids and, and black women to the extent where in the state of California, y'all, Governor Gavin Newsom, and we reported on this, Telly, mm -hmm. he signed an, a bill which went into effect January 1st yeah, that Ebony. enables the California yeah. Highway Patrol to activate what is called the Ebony Alert. Yeah. We've got the Amber Alert. We've got the Silver Alert for senior citizens. We've got the Amber Alert for kids, but we know what kind of kids typically <laughs> get all the attention. So the governor in California, Gavin Newsom, had to sign a bill to enable the California Highway Patrol to activate the new Ebony Alert upon request from local law enforcement that whenever a black youth or young black woman is reported missing, under unexplained or suspicious circumstances is considered, and I quote, at risk, developmentally disabled or cognitively impaired, or has been abducted. abducted. The Ebony Alert ensures that vital resources and attention are given so we can bring home missing black children and women in the same way we search for any other missing child or any other missing person. And that Ebony Alert needs to be activated immediately in the state of Wisconsin. We should be calling Governor Evers' office right now and demanding because when you have women like Miss Didi, our, one of our valued listeners, and Miss Deborah call in and almost in tears, this is not something that just happened. This has been happening. And the reason why is because a lot of these sick monsters who are white, they know they can get away with it. They pursue us because they know they can get away with it. This man was so, this monster was so calculated. Yeah, I, burning I, her car. Yeah, I just I look at all of this, DT, and it's just in the day and time, it just seems like it's just so reversed right now. Meaning, OK, you the reason why bills and legislators legislative legislature is put in place because there's a problem. Right. So absolutely. Uh you you implement the ebony alert because it was a problem finding missing black kids in the state of California. So you put a measure in place. And then you look at the flip side, all of the measures that have been put in place to somewhat level the playing field are now being taken away. AKA what, what DEI, you? affirmative action. So I, it, it's like not only you're not trying to do things to help our community, you're stripping it from programs that were put in place because it's not a level playing field. And you think it's just California? Oh, no, no, no. 
Yeah, First of all, let me just crazy. say this to you, Telly. Let me just share this with, with you and Truth Nation. And especially for those that need data. And I swear to God, if somebody called up data today, Telly, you better go ahead and just cut my mic. <laughs> I'll be your human beat button. <laughs> Please. When we come back, I want to share with you, Telly and Truth Nation, some very interesting facts, data regarding reported missing people here in this country that are either black children under the age of 18 or indigenous people. And other states are taking action. And we need in Wisconsin to do the same. We come back, I'm going to share with you some of these other states that have activated bills specific to the current reports of missing black children under the age of 18 in the U.S. Stay tuned. We'll be back. It is Truth Be 